Welcome to Oxford Street, one of Europe's busiest shopping streets, and today we're here at this place, Selfridges. And we're not doing a tour of the whole store, no, we are going to go in, go through the swing doors, and find the food department. Selfridges opened back in 1909, and it is in the UK the second largest retail premises, after Harrods of course. I wanted to go and have a look and see how the Selfridges food hall has changed because it was known as being a fairly dull and dreary place to go. But as you can see, they really have brightened it up. And not only can you get food here, and as you've seen already, there are loads of places that you can sit and eat as well. Selfridges itself has quite a reputation. It received the award for the world's best department store back in 2010 and again in 2012. Now this video has been requested, especially since we put up our Harrods Food Hall video, which I'll put a link to up in the top right hand corner. As you can see, there's plenty of fresh food to be bought, but one of the things that's been cited at Selfridges is the fact that they've reduced the size of their fresh fruit and veg areas. Speaking to a number of customers, they believe this is because of the number of different places that you can sit, stop, have a coffee or eat here in the food hall on its own. If it's fresh flowers you're after, here they are. This is the Orchard Street entrance of Selfridges Food Hall. One of the things I was particularly pleased to see was this coffee bar where they'll do your roasting for you. And this is the roasting plant. The smell in this area is incredible from the in-store bakery where they bake their own bread. And how about this for a selection of lovely desserts, oh my word. Much like Harrods, there's lots and lots of quality food to choose from, from here from a sushi bar to all of the different delicatessen counters. Unlike Harrods over in Knightsbridge, when you're in Knightsbridge, you've just got to go and visit Harrods. When people walk up and down Oxford Street, people quite often don't think of popping into Selfridges. Quite often because it can look a bit imposing and therefore stops people from coming in. But I would highly recommend that you do, not just the food hall, but around the whole store itself. Selfridges is just one of those department stores with so many different departments on so many different floors that it's worth visiting and it's open Monday to Saturday 10am till 9pm on a Sunday between 11am and 6pm. I love this, you can't get fresher grown herbs than here. And how about something from this beautiful deli counter and look at the selection on offer here. Selfridges is really easy to get to. It's sandwiched on Oxford Street, probably halfway between Marble Arch Station on the Central Line and also Bond Street Station, which is on the Central and the Jubilee Line. And depending when you're watching this, the Elizabeth Line might be open at Bond Street then as well. Now I know from our Harrods video, we've got some cheese aficionados out there. So this bit's especially for you guys. I hope you're enjoying our visit to Selfridges Food Hall. And if you are, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up so we can spread this video to more people across YouTube so they can love London as well. This is just a whole set of shelves devoted to this one company's tea, which is produced in France, which goes to show you that if you're looking for something slightly unusual, or if you've been overseas or used to live overseas and you're looking for something from your home country or from where you visited, you could well find it on the shelves here at Selfridges or alternatively at Harrods as well. Also, the food hall is a fantastic place to come if you're looking for gift ideas for people. You've got selections here. This is the Selfridges selection.
Still stuck for ideas for gifts? How about this? Quite often they have these tables all set up with something which is quite seasonal. And as you can tell, we were here during the Jubilee time and there's nothing sells more than the face of the Queen on it. I bet the Jubilee shortbread sold out very quickly. Without doubt, tea must be selling really well here. Now, you've also got this, which is a concierge if you're looking to buy a hamper or some food, someone can help you do that. And you've also got a champagne bar as well, just down these steps, which lead into the perfume department. So if you're coming to London and want to do your shopping in style, this could be a trip for you. If you're a regular watcher of the channel, you'll know we've been to Kew Gardens a few times, and I'll put a link to our video up in the top right-hand corner but here are the jams that you can get at Kew Gardens they produce there. This is probably one of the most popular eating places here in the food hall. It's the Brass Rail, which is a sort of salt beef bar, and that's right next to a health and well-being area, which is great, which is right next to Lola's Cupcakes. There you go. Having the health place there is probably a good idea after you've been to all of those. So you can have a cupcake here. And alternatively, if you fancy something like a sit down meal with sushi, you have Yo Sushi here as well. So you really do have a great selection of different food types here at Selfridges. Busiest time to avoid is obviously 12 and one o'clock. Now the food hall is on the ground floor, but if you go down to the basement, you've got a whole area selling chocolates. How about this? And yes, the area is so large, no surprise they couldn't get it into the food hall. And I wanna ask a question. Choco fruit, does this count as one of your five a day? In which case, five choc, yeah, okay, you know where I'm going on this. I think the chocolate hall here at Selfridges almost rivals that at Harrods. The only thing that's missing here that they've got at Harrods is you can watch them actually making the chocolates there. I don't know about you, but every time I see these big slabs of chocolate, I just imagine my teeth getting stuck into it. Oh, oh I'm gonna to have to buy a slab. If you're looking for some great places to eat, maybe away from Selfridges in London, then I'll put a playlist up in the top right hand corner for you of great places to eat in London, which may be slightly off the beaten track. This part of Selfridges reminds me of Fortnum and Mason and their tea and coffee area with their tins. And as you sweep round, wow, what a selection we have of different bottles of wine, champagnes, and anything else you fancy drinking. So we've shown you Selfridges Food Hall. We've also shown you the chocolate area and also where you can get your wine, tea, and coffee. But what was your favorite section? And if you were coming to the Selfridges Food Hall, which part would you go to first? Let us know in the comments down below. If you love coming to London and you love coming to London to go and look at the shops, then I've put a video up in the top right hand corner of our walk up and down New and Old Bond Street at night so you can see all the fantastic jewelry in the shop windows. If you click on that, I'll see you in there.